you mentioned your queen. Yes, love her. How did you know she was the one? When we met, uh, I just got a house, right? And it was my first house, mm -hmm. had no furniture. It was just records all over the floor. You know, nothing in the refrigerator. But I was just excited I got the house. Right. You know, at that time, <laughs> somebody told me you could put $30,000 down and you can get a house for $500,000. I'm like, huh? <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Well, that was a special time. Matter of fact, after I got it, the recession hit. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, what right, happened. Yeah, around 2008 then. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. Around that time. Yeah. Exactly. That was my first house. Exactly. Um, but she came and, man, she started cooking for me and she she gave me a pillow and some sheets. And um, obviously she's beautiful, but her... her uh, not just the beautiness, but her heart and her soul and the way she cared for me. Like, you know, she introduced me to cocoa butter. You know, <laughs> I, you know she's like, Yo, baby, you asked, you need some cocoa butter. Right. You know, she introduced me to Dove soap. Like, I, <laughs> I, I, I might have used a different one. It's just the little things and it was just the care. And I never had that care only from my mother. Right. You know, I'm out here hustling. I'm out here grinding. I was washing my own clothes. So it'd be like, it'd be crazy. You know what I'm saying? She came in to show me that love, but I call her my spiritual advisor. Um, and she's not a regular spiritual advisor because she's tough. And I love it. And when I say tough, meaning as in she just, like the other day, like say if I'm, I'm like, yo, ma, you know what I'm saying? You know, that's a lot. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm human. Well, I'm not human. I'm, I'm, I'm special human. I was just telling her like, ma, it's a lot. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot on me. Boom, boom. And she's like, you got this. And immediately I was like, you're right. That's all I needed to hear. Right. You know what I'm saying? So she was my, not only my lover, my best friend. Right. You know? And um, she gave me my two beautiful boys. And I told her, we forever. To hear you talk, I had Steve Harvey on about two months ago. And he mentioned how Margie helped him level up. It put him in a different frame of mind that she gave him the positivity to think that he he was Superman. That's what she does for me. And to hear you talk. That, and I didn't know he, he said that. And I know that feeling because sometimes I'd be like, yo, ma, like, it's like, like, come on. And she'd be like, you got this in so many ways. And I'm like, man, you're right. And I get it done. She get me like, she makes sure I keep my head up high, my chest up high, and let's get it. You, know, you know what, Callie? She came into this and saw how hard you was working. Absolutely. So now that you're working hard, she don't say, well, baby, you don't have any time for me and the boys. You, she understands. Oh, 100%. That you got to work to maintain. She, 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 and to she tells me all the time, because, you know, there's, a, there's, a, there's times where I don't want to go out of town. Right. You know, I'm like, you know, I'm chilling and, and, I'm, and I'm still working. Right. Um, but she understands, like, we we love you. We, we got you. You know we know we, you know you know what you're doing. But she'll keep me going because sometimes, and I'm sure everybody goes through it. You know we got that time where like, we don't feel like doing something. Yes. And she'll give me that extra push to go get it done. Right. And I'm like, man, thanks for pushing me because I really needed to get right. that done. Let me ask you this: How do you get your two boys? You saw your family lose everything, and you immigrated. Your boys only know this. Right. So how do you give them that work ethic when? They see all the cars, one of 150 of Virgil yeah, Globe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybach. I call that the cappuccino. That cappuccino, yeah, okay, you, the yeah, cappuccino. Yeah, yeah. They fly private. They don't yeah. know what it's like to be in an airport. You're, you're right. So how do you you're teach right. your boys right. to have that kind of work ethic like their dad in a situation where all they know is lavish? I, I have the answer. I make sure they, they're around me and I tell them and remind them because they always say, Daddy, um, can we do this? I said, Daddy got to work. They see me right here. Daddy got to work. Daddy's in the studio. But to be the honest truth, have you met my wife yet? <laughs> I did see out the corner of my eye. Your son she, was sitting she, back there. She, she motioned she, for him to come and he us, got up. She keeps us all on our toes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm the one that says, yes, 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 yes. You want this? Yes, yes, yes. And she's like, no, 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 no. Not in a bad way. You got to learn to work, like right. you say. So you got to have a balance. But when you're around, just the same way I was right, when you're around, like, he sees me up late hours. Sometimes he'll wake up to go to school and daddy's still in the studio. Or daddy's in the office. Um, when we go on the road, like, you know, mommy's taking him to a water park. I'm in the uh, hotel room and I made one of the rooms into my office in the studio where I'm doing a photo shoot or I'm making music. And he knows that's my love, but he also knows that's what daddy does. Right. So he understands that. But at the same time, I want to give props to my wife and my queen. She keeps all of us on a toe. So, and Shannon, I'm sure you've. There's times that you might be feeling yourself. You're like, yeah. you know, I'm Shannon Sharp. Yeah. I came home, got done watching 
uh, you, you had the King James watching the basketball yeah. game. You wore the fly sneakers. You know you was looking fly. You got the number one show. You know, you feel, it's all right to feel good for like a day, right? Yes. My wife, she, 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 she remind me out the gate. I, I can't even have a chance to feel that for a second because she keep me on my toes. And in a positive way, not yes. in a bad way. Right. Like, yo, don't get it twisted. Mm. And I love it. Yes. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I love about my family. Is we, we, we real, we pure. And she keeps me on my toes. So I can never start feeling myself. And, and you know, it's all right to do it for a second, but I, I don't have that time to do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? The reality is we bless. Let's keep going. Stay right. focused.